So at least one major investor selling off his stake in Alibaba and JD.com. Yeah, and that would be Michael Burry, uh, you know, who rose to fame after predicting the housing crisis and has a huge social media following for his ability to uh, predict looming risks. Chinese tech giants had been his hedge fund's biggest holdings. Now his Skyon Capital's 13F filing shows he ditched them just months after doubling down on them. He exited positions in Alibaba, JD.com, as well as some of his cut price banking stocks that he bought in the first quarter. Meanwhile, he loaded up on mining, shipping, and energy stocks and placed bearish bets against the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100. Again, this was last quarter. We don't know if these positions are still held, but they were as of late June. Uh, his filing showed he put options on two exchange traded funds, the Spider, S&P 500, and Invesco QQQ. Now, the big takeaway from the thousands of filings that Bloomberg has been analyzing is that hedge funds bought into tech in a very big way and were riding the big tech rally. Institutional investors added 5.7 million shares of Meta platforms. That's about $6.7 billion worth. They also boosted Microsoft and Apple Holdings and piled into, no surprise, AI. NVIDIA and advanced micro devices were in a lot of the funds. Bloomberg analysis finds that Intel is the outlier. About 41 million shares were sold off between the large group of funds. Now, one of the biggest buyers of tech was Roco's Capital Management out of London. They bought more than 2.7 billion shares in the QQQ. That's part of their multi-billion dollar bullish tech bet. The fund also bought calls or bullish positions in Alibaba, took a new stake in Taiwan Semiconductor, and the firm added uh, more than 14 billion. It has 14 billion, more than 14 billion in assets. That's why it's watched so closely. Uh, it also added Micron AMD and boosted its stake in Amazon. Microsoft, we should point out, was one of the largest holdings uh, when you consider all these funds as a group uh, in terms of value. Uh, so there's always a lot of interest in Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. What were the key takeaways there? Well, Warren Buffett's uh, Berkshire Hathaway is closely followed because they typically hold positions for a very long time. And we see a little bit of difference here where they're getting rid of uh, previous holdings and picking up new ones. And one of the new stakes that's really catching a lot of attention is a big bet in builders. Berkshire Hathaway buying into a trio of home builders, uh, DR Horton, NVR, and Lennar. And because of its real estate focus in its portfolio, uh, some observers say they're viewed is having perhaps some insight here. Meanwhile, Berkshire slashed its take in Activision Blizzard by some 70% in the second quarter. This came amid the delays in the merger with Microsoft. Also trimmed positions in Chevron, exited the insurance broker March from McLennan, and added to Occidental. Now holds about 25% of that stock. Very interesting uh, position there. Stay tuned.